Hello guys, welcome back to my Jojo series. Sorry for the wait, I haven't been uploading videos for like a month. Let me check. Yeah, it's a month. Honestly bro, it's not as bad as the previous upload schedule. Look at this. 10 months, 7 months, 3 months of wait bro. It's not that bad compared to this. I wasn't uploading because of school, I got exams. A lot of exams, 2 weeks worth of exams and then the preparations before it. And for this video, it's going to be about fixing bugs. Risk bug is an unsummon bug. So when you unsummon your stand and you punch, you're stuck. You're unable to punch anymore. Let me reset so I can punch again. Now, when you punch, then you unsummon, you're unable to punch anymore. Same thing. There's also a stun bug. So when you M1 5 times, your speed changes to 5. Then when you get stunned, it's gonna get stuck to 5. Let me disable this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's gonna get stuck to 5. And when I do this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's gonna get stuck to 2. Okay, so the unsound bug is happening because of this script right here. Print anim dot stop. Since we are punching while the stun is on summoning, the animation isn't stopped, but instead, the animation got destroyed because the stand also got destroyed. So then, my attack isn't getting reset back to nil. Okay. Now, to do this, to fix this bug, we can just do something like this. If character get attribute attacking, then return end. This makes it so we're unable to summon our stand when we're attacking. Punch Q, punch Q, it's not going to unsummon. But the bug still remains when you unsummon and then you punch. You're unable to punch anymore. So you need to fix something. Well, that bug is happening because my stand still exists. It takes 0.3 seconds to wait. And then it's gonna destroy the stand. But while I'm summoning, the stand isn't destroyed yet, so I can just punch. Um, the stand isn't destroyed, therefore the, the local script isn't destroyed. That means I can still fire a mod event to the server and I can still punch. So to fix that, we can just do something like this. We're gonna add an attribute called I'm gonna call it character get um set attribute unsummoning unsummoning thing equals true and I'm going to set this to nil after three seconds after the sun is destroyed it's gonna get back to nil so let's go to the combat server let's make a variable called unsummoning local unsummoning equals character get attribute un summon or unsummoning then return end right I punch and then unsummon is not going to summon I unsummon and then I punch it's not going to happen but if you spam Q and M1 uh, see there is a bug so the bug was happening because so you need to move it right here and instead of that stand it's fine for child stand since it's not guaranteed to exist and then we're gonna do something like this if attacking or stunned or unsounding or the stand doesn't exist or not stand then return end i am spamming m1s and q's and the, the bug isn't happening Right now, let's get into the speed bug. There's also a bug other than the speed bug, but it still revolves around the stun bug. The bug is right here. Look at this. You may see nothing wrong with this script, but when you get stunned and the hitbox is already stopped, then there will be an error because the hitbox doesn't exist. You're, basi you're basically stopping nil. Okay, so to do this, there is actually 
um, a function for this. It's called get hitbox. It's going to get a hitbox. If the hitbox exists, then it's going to return true. So, do something like this. If hitbox module, free module, get hitbox, the object, which is parts, and then the index is combo, then we're going to stop hitbox. Now, let's get into the speed bug. So, the speed bug is happening because this module script saves your speed. The function saves the current speed and jump power of the unit before setting them to zero. So when I punch five times, my speed gets to five, and then when I get stunned, it's gonna get stuck to five. So that's a problem. So that's why I am going to make an attribute called main speed. And attributes will also name set attributes. Character set attribute main speed 60. Instead of changing the walk speed to the data speed, it's going to change the walk speed to humanite.parent get attribute main speed. Means there's actually a similar problem to this in the combat server. So in this, if combo equals 5, then there's an old speed. So if my speed gets changed to 2, and then I punch for the fifth time, it's going to revert back to 2 instead of 16. So let's remove this and change the walk speed to character get attribute main speed. This should fix the bug. One, two, three, four, five. It's done myself. And it's gonna get back to 16. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna back. It's gonna get back to 16 as well. So the bug is fixed. That's nice. Alright, so I'm gonna answer the question that you may be wondering. Why don't I just change the walk speed to 16 instead of uh, making an attribute called main speed? Well, this is why. So let's say you have a move that makes you faster. And then I get stunned. My speed will get reverted to 16, even if the move hasn't ended yet. So yeah. This is it for this short video. Thank you for watching and